Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing another feature on an Evo 10. This time we have Scott's crazy custom painted built engine Evo 10 GSR. So we're gonna go over all the mods on this thing, interior, exterior, engine. Uh, we're gonna get him to start it up, get some revs and also get some flybys so you can hear what the car sounds like. So yeah, with that said, let's get right into it and start off with the exterior mods. All right, so we'll start from the front of the car here. So firstly, I'll point out it is a 2008 model GSR. Now you can probably see the custom paint job. Hopefully it picks up. It is a crazy color. It is blood red candy. And yeah, hopefully the light picks that up. It looks like dark when there's no light on it. And then this really nice bright red with a lot of metallic and candy flecks in it, I guess, when the sun hits it. So yeah, really, really nice looking car. Um, it was originally red, so the rally red. Um, but all the door jams and everywhere inside the car has been painted. It's just the engine bay that hasn't. Um, so yeah, 2008 model. Um, it has a black painted roof as well. And everything else in the red. So at the front here, you can see we have a carbon fiber front lip. That is a rally art style front lip. So it's really nice as you can see. Um, we've also got the carbon fiber front grill nose piece i guess you call it with the badge delete so that looks really nice um, this will more be in the power mods but yeah we've got a pwr front mount intercooler so then up onto the bonnet here um, we have these vents so bonnet or hood vents uh, oem style carbon fiber uh, we've got some custom headlights so blacked out internals with the halo and the red demon eyes, which you probably can't really see with the sun going under them. Um, so Scott, the owner of this car, is actually the owner of Evolution by Design. So you would have seen a lot of their parts on my car. Um, but yeah, so here's the owner. So of course he has a lot of his own parts. So he's got the non-drill number plate bracket there for his custom Evil X number plates. Um, I think that's about it for the front of the car. So we'll come around to the side. So you've got some carbon fiber mirror caps and also some blacked out side markers or indicators, carbon fiber side skirt extension. So that's a really nice piece. It's got some genuine virus, virus, and then replace it, um, side pillars some OEM Mitsubishi weather shields and a little carbon fiber shorty antenna there. So come around to the back of the car. As you can see it is wingless with the carbon fiber duck lip. Uh, we've also got a various carbon fiber rear diffuser. So you can see Starting at the side there, goes all the way around. So yeah, that looks really nice. And also some carbon fiber exhaust heat shields. So I think that's about it for the exterior. Also the paint has been ceramic coated with Blackhawk Limitless 2.0 ceramic coating. Because Scott is also a detailer has x-rated car detailing so yeah i think that's about it so i'm trying to get some more shots of the paint and i'll try and come back around so it's got the oem style tail lights yeah let's try and give you guys a good walk around so you can see how the color changes so not ideal lighting but as you come to the front where the sun's hitting it, you can see just how nice that paint pops. So yeah, nothing crazy, no big wide bodies or anything, just the perfect, in my mind, exterior mods to keep it nice and subtle. So yeah, that is it for the exterior. Let's move on to the wheels, tires, brakes, and suspension. Okay, so just before we go onto the wheels, uh, one part I did forget on the exterior is he has the Evolution by Design front bumper quick release. So I actually have one of those in my car too, really nice setup. Um, but yeah, that as well, so he has the twin buttons 
you can get the single button as well. Um, but yeah, the wheels, you can see, they are a Workemotion CR three-piece wheel in 18 by 10 and a half. Um, and then for tyres, it has some Yokohama V105 275 35s. So a really good street tyre there, as the car is predominantly built to be a street car, but this next year it's going to be looking to do some track events, so you'll probably upgrade the tyres. Um, and the suspension, he has MCA red coilovers, so um, really, really nice coilovers. Same thing that Letitia has on her Evo 10. Um, and yeah, we've got some sl slotted front and rear rotors. And I think that is about it. So let's just get a look at the fitment. So you can see it's pretty aggressive with the 10 and a half of the 275 tire. But nothing too wild, but it has a really nice stance to it. And yeah, very deep dish three piece wheels. So it gives a pretty unique look to the car. So yeah, let's move on now to the interior. Okay, so for the interior, you can see we've got a leather trimmed steering wheel with red stitching. Makes it a little bit thicker too, which is nice. So it's a red line leather steering wheel retrim. Also got a red line leather with the red stitching gearbox um, trim as well. So at the OEM Lancer Revolution shifter as well as the handbrake so the leather and aluminium option We've got a leather with the red stitching also on the armrest here um, got carbon fiber interior trim pieces all the way around and there's some OEM Lance Revolution floor mats so obviously he's got the Evolution by design fire extinguisher bracket in red with the fire extinguisher Got an AEM air fuel ratio gauge down there in the cubby there. An OEM carbon fiber AC surround. And nice little touch there with the carbon fiber on the little three button area there as well for the AYC and the intercooler spray. Uh, I've got an Alpine Halo 9 head unit and Alpine Type S speakers front and rear. It's also got the Ortiz pod up here for the boost and oil pressure gauge. And that is also the Ortiz as well down there for the air fuel ratio. And yes, I believe that is everything for the interior. Just a functional, comfy place to be with some factory Recaros. So yeah, let's go ahead, pop the bonnet, move on to the real stuff with this crazy built engine. Okay, so before we get into the craziness that is sitting in this engine bay, let's just do some drivetrain. So he's got the MAP CMC upgrade with braided clutch line. It's got a DCS twin plate ceramic clutch, ACT monolock, radium engineering clutch fork stopper, uh, Torque Solutions shifter bushings and Torque Solutions shifter base mounts with a Cobb short shifter also has the white line rear diff bushes. Okay, so now let's move on to the craziness that is sitting in this engine bay. So this is gonna be the majority of the list and this is not all something that I can remember off the top of my head, so we'll be reading the list out. So we'll start off with the block. So it's a Nitto 2.2 litre stroker with 88 mil 921 pistons, ARP rod bolts, Darton MID sleeves, ARP head studs, ARP main studs, and a map billet timing guide. It's got a custom oil cooler and Raceworks braided oil lines. A 88 mil head gasket, Torque Solutions front engine mount, and Torque Solutions rear engine mount. Then for the head, it's got GCS valve guides, GCS valve stem seals, Supertech exhaust valves, Supertech black nitrate intake valves, and titanium retainers, some Kelford valve springs, AMS cams, AMS billet cam cap, and ARP 2000 cam studs with a driven fab billet exhaust Mivec housing. And it's been ported, intake and exhaust flow tested. Um, then 
for everything else that you can see there. So we'll start off with some sort of dress up parts. So we've got the carbon fiber bonnet struts either side there. And we've got a carbon fiber fuse box cover set. We've got the APR carbon fiber radiator shield going into the, of course, Evolution by Design intake heat shield. Also has an Evolution by Design, and you can see the logo there. Um, the cam, sorry, the cover there, valve cover, couldn't think of the word. Um, and also Evolution by Design custom firewall heat shield, Mybeck and cam heat shields there as well. Um, then we have some pretty crazy stuff going on back here with the turbo. We'll get to that in a second. Um, we'll go through the rest of the dress up stops since we started on that. So yeah, we've got a Weapon R power steering reservoir. Um, we've also got an Evolution by Design three piece aluminium under tray, which currently is off the car, but normally is. Um, Evolution by Design coil, uh, oil cooler, Mishimoto radiator, and Mishimoto thermostat and thermo fans with some Samco hosing for the radiator there. So I think that is absolutely everything. Dress up um, and obviously some powder coating going on here for the intercooler piping and intake, which is all custom. So let's move on to that. So the manifold is a custom CRG high mount manifold. It's got a BW EFR 7670 T4 turbo, twin turbo smart 40 mil wastegates. Let's see there. Also got a custom CRG three and a half inch dump pipe and a custom CRG three and a half inch cap back. The intake and intercooler. So the intake is a custom three and a half inch. So yeah, pretty meaty setup there with the big KN pod filter, which is a six inch. We've got the upper and lower hard intercooler piping, which has the CRG logo on it and all powder coated. Uh, we also have a TurboSmart compact blower valve, a PWR intercooler, which we showed at the start, and then a driven fab air oil separator and Raceworks braided lines and fittings. For the fueling, it's got an OEM lift pump a Raceworks surge tank, a Warbro 460 fuel pump with an easy control fuel controller. Then it's got the Warbro 255 hardwired with Raceworks braided feed lines, a Works fuel rail and ID 1700 injectors with a TurboSmart 1200 fuel pressure regulator. And it's got a flex fuel kit running on E85 and pump fuel. So, yeah, that was a long list of engine mods. Obviously, had to read all that out. Okay, so with all of those mods, we end up with a power figure of 410 kilowatts of the wheels and 550 newton meters of torque. So, absolute beast. That is on E85, obviously. Um, yeah, crazy. Thing sounds absolutely nuts and really hands a lot of cars some losses when it goes to some roll racing and track events. So, what I'll do now is I'll actually get Scott to start the car up give it a few revs so you guys can hear what it sounds like. And then also we'll do a couple of flybys so you can hear it. I really want you guys to hear this turbo. It just sounds absolutely crazy. You probably would have heard it at the start, um, but yeah, let's get to that now.
Alright guys, well that's going to be the end of the video there. So really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up down below. And actually, if you're interested in buying this car, it is actually for sale. So um, yeah, send me an email. My email is linked in the description and I'll pass your details on to Scott if you're interested in buying. But yeah, fully built engine, gearbox, custom paint. Um, obviously, you know it's not going to be cheap. So if you're interested in something like this, then yeah, definitely let me know. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already for plenty more videos like this to come. Back onto an Evo 10 for a feature video, which I'm sure you guys appreciate. But I'm still going to try and do some more other cars in the future. But yeah, that's it now. So I'll catch you guys in the next upload.